Hey guys, welcome to a new uh, weekly vlog. Today is November 20th. It is week, let's see, four of Nano. So we technically have all of this week and then most of next week um, for Nano, which I thought this was week was the last week. So that's actually kind of a good thing um, because I thought that I was going to have to kind of sprint to get as many words in this week as I can. So I'm glad to realize that there's actually another week. Um, I, uh, slept in this morning. I mentioned in the end of last night's vlog, yesterday's vlog, or last week's vlog, that I was going to stay up a little bit later, kind of shift my sleep schedule a bit, and stay up later and do some writing after Nick had gone to bed and the dogs were in bed and relaxed and there was no distractions and all that. I did that, and that went great. Um, I worked on one scene that I had been kind of putting off. Um, I worked on it and I ended up writing 3,000, over 3,000 words. It was like 3,052 words or something in the span of like an hour and a half. Perfect. That was exactly what I needed. I had been putting that scene off, like I said. Um, so I was really happy with that. That part went great. The rest of the night, not so much. Um, we switched our dogs' food and apparently that has upset their stomachs because all three of them were up and down, going to the bathroom all night. And we have a two-story house, so every time they wanted to go out... I had to go all the way downstairs to let them outside, and they literally probably got up like 15 times. When one would go out, I would make them all go out, but then half an hour later, one of them would need to go out again. And then I'd lay back down, and then, you know, an hour later, one of them would need to go out again. It was just up and down all night, and I'm exhausted. So I tried to sleep in until, like, right before work as best I could. That didn't really happen, though, because, again, they kept getting up still. Uh, Nick has been having some issues with his work computer, so he's having to deal with that. It's basically dead, so he's not even working right now. He's just kind of trying to wait on IT to figure out what's going on. Um, I had to get a post up this morning for my boss for my VA job. I did that. And then I just kind of lazed around as best I could. I have my coffee. Um, I'm sitting here doing my regular like 9 to 5 work and watching, catching up on Sarah Cannon's <sighs> nano vlogs. Um, my vlog from last week is already uploaded or it's been exported. I think I need to check my iPad. Um, and now I just need to upload it to YouTube and it'll be ready to go. Using iMovie on my iPad is actually so much easier than what I was doing. And it is saving me so much time having the iPad. Like, I'm so happy with my iPad. Um, before, I didn't have any way to get all of the video clips from my phone because I don't have like an actual camera. I film everything on my phone. I didn't have any way to get the clips from my phone to my laptop because the like cable, like you know how you can like connect your um like charger cable I guess to the laptop and then like transfer all the documents over or all the clips over. I don't know if it was my phone or if it was my laptop, but that never worked. Like it, the laptop would never register the cord, and it wouldn't let me transfer all the files over. So the only way for like the past like year and a half that I could transfer all the files over was to upload them to Facebook and then get on Facebook on my laptop. So from my phone, upload them to Facebook, get on Facebook on my laptop, and then save them from Facebook onto my laptop. And that took forever. Um, every clip took forever to, to load. Now, it's so much easier. All I have to do is airdrop them from my phone right to the iPad. It does it quickly. iMovie is so much easier to use than the old uh, like editing software. So last night ended up being very um, productive. I was able to get all of last week's vlog edited in like less than an hour probably. Where? As before, a whole vlog would take me days. I would have to upload all the clips, then save all the clips, and then put all the clips into the editing software, and then figure out the order of all the clips, and then edit and then export, and then upload, and it would, it just took forever. So, super happy with how that's going. So, I was able to get the vlog edited, get it exported, and write over 3,000 words last night, and a scene that I had been putting off. So, love it. That was a great night, or that was a great, yeah, that was a great night. Super productive. Hopefully, I can try to get, be just as productive today. Um, I am reading Dark Air, which I think I talked about in the last vlog. Um, I'm only, like, just past the prologue, and it's already so good. I'm like 40%, 30%, 40% into um, this autobiography called Shoot Like a Girl, which is very good. 
Uh, I also have a few other books that I want to start, so that is the update for now. I need to get some work done. I will check back in later today at some point. Hey guys, uh, so the day has taken a crazy turn. I am currently on my way into the office because my laptop decided to stop working. There's this thing where like, if you're not signed into the company's domain, the laptop won't work. So my my systems all of a sudden stopped working and I couldn't log into anything. So my coworkers just said that they had to, had to restart their computers this morning, so I did that. And, and when I went to go log back into my computer, like under my username and everything, it says that I'm no longer on the company's domain and it won't allow me to log in. The last time this happened, it's like the stupidest thing ever. I literally had to drive all the way to the office and I have to log in under the company's like Wi-Fi, under the building's Wi-Fi. So I literally just have to park my car in the parking lot, log into their Wi-Fi from my laptop, and then log into my account. And that's it. And then turn around and come back home. Like, it's so stupid. Um, this has happened to me once before, and I had to do this drive all the way to the office, which is like 20 minutes away, to get it to work. And on top of that, if we're off for so long, they try to tell us that they want us to come work in the office. So I'm trying to avoid that from happening. Um, so I'm like literally not even telling my boss that I'm doing this. I told her that my system's down and everything, but I think it's my internet. I'm not telling her that I'm going to the office because last time I literally didn't even have to go in. Like I said, I just sat in the parking lot and I did it. So I'm not even gonna tell her I'm going because I don't want her to tell me that I need to stay. And now I can't stay anyways because I'm not dressed and I have doggy with me, I have the puppy with me. Um, so I can't stay even if she wanted me to. So I'm trying to hurry up and get over there, get this done, and I turn around and drive back. So literally a waste of time and gas. Um, so that is the way our morning's going. After I did not sleep last night, and Nick's laptop, his work laptop is still not working and he's trying to figure it out. He may have to go to the office today. So, so not a great start to our week. It's not even 10 and I already need a freaking drink. Um, yeah, so I'm trying to hurry up, get there as quick as I can. I'm gonna try to listen to some more of Shoot Like a Girl while I'm on my way. At least maybe I can get some more, you know, reading, uh, listening to this audio, get further into this audiobook. Um, and yeah, that is the story for now. So I will hope, I'm praying that I get to the office and this works and it's not somehow something different that, like worst case scenario, if my computer doesn't work, I can take PT over the day. Um, I'm trying not to have to do that, but I mean, I have a choice and Nick may have to do that as well. And we also need to go switch our dog's food and figure out what's going on with them. It's a crazy day. So yeah. I will let you guys know what ends up happening. I'm going to listen to some of this audiobook and I will check back in later. Hey guys, welcome back. So it is about 3.47 now. I get off work at 4. Um, the day has gone a little bit better since this morning. I got back home after I had to run to work. I received this in the mail. This has been, if you are on TikTok, this has been all over TikTok. Um, it just so happened that this weekend, um, on like Saturday, my... Um, flat iron that I've had for years, probably like three or four years, finally died on me, and so I needed something new, and I had seen that, like I said, all over TikTok, and so I decided to give it a try. I used it today. Um, it worked pretty well. Um, my hair is a little bit tangled right now because I've just been sitting, kind of sitting here, like, I touch my hair a lot when I'm, like, working and thinking and stuff, so it's a little bit tangled up. Um, I also did it, like, sitting here at my desk not I didn't do it like in front of a mirror in the bathroom actually so it's probably not like as straight as it could be but it worked pretty well and it was pretty easy and quick so I'm excited to use it this week is Thanksgiving week so I'll probably use it on Thursday before we um go eat and everything so I got that so that's pretty exciting um and yeah the work day's almost done um I haven't done any writing today um, I think I'm going to try to do the same thing again last night that I did, or tonight that I did last night, and stay up after Nick and the dogs go to sleep, and do some writing then, because, like I said this morning, I was able to get, able to get like, 3,000 words written, which is a lot for me. Um, I don't know that I'll get that many words written again, but maybe even if I get 1,000 words written, that would be great, so I'm going to try. I'm pretty tired, because, like I said earlier, I was up and down with the dogs last night, praying that there's not does not happen again tonight um but yeah i'm gonna try and see how it goes so i think when i get off work there are a lot of things that i want to do i need to get to the youtube video the weekly vlog 
from last week that would go up today and you take get that up on YouTube get it uploaded to YouTube so I may try to do that in this last 10 minutes before I finish work um I'd like to get some setup done in my planner uh with December coming soon but I haven't done that yet um those are things that I want to do not necessarily things that I have to do right now because it's been such the day started off so stressful and I'm running on a little bit of sleep and everything I think I might try to take it easy tonight and maybe I'm just gonna read um I'm currently reading Dark Air, so like I talked about in yesterday or yeah, in yesterday's clip from last week's vlog, I think I'm just gonna take that downstairs and read that and just kind of relax and give myself the night off a little bit. Um, maybe when I come back up, when Nick's in the shower, maybe I'll do that then. You know, we're coming up towards the end of the year, so that means like um, end of the year vlogs. You know, um, all those videos that everybody does at the end of the year. Um, start thinking about my word. For 2024, I did a word, word of the year every year, um, looking at my goals and see what goals I um, didn't get today, or didn't what goals I didn't reach this year, what goals are going to extend to next year, and maybe start doing some goals and like vision casting for the next like three to five years, what that's going to look like. We're starting to talk about potentially our move to Orlando again, so looking at that, what that would look like. So just a lot of stuff coming up. This week I can take it slow. My client, the one client I have right now is on vacation through next week. My boss is on vacation through this week, so it's a slower week this week. So I would like to take that time to one, focus on it and continue writing, and two, just kind of relax. I haven't been reading as much in the last like month, so maybe try to slowly get my way back into reading again. I think things are gonna pick up in January. Supposedly two of my other clients are supposed to be coming back in January only took a break for the holidays so if that happens I'll have three clients and my client that I have right now is hopefully going to be signing me on full-time so those are all things that are coming up so I'd like to take this time of like rest and slower pace while I can um so yeah that is basically the update the rambly update for now um I am making a new like recipe for dinner it's just like garlic honey chicken like an asian style chicken so we'll see how that goes i also need to get ray's birthday present sent out i may try to do that tomorrow maybe um yeah that's a day for now i'm gonna try to get this youtube video up and then i will check back with you guys probably tonight when i come back in here while next in the shower Sorry for the noise, guys. My husband has a YouTube video on um, in the living room, so hopefully you can hear me. But the like restorative power of having ramen for dinner. I had a pack of um, the um, I had the carbonara pulled up ramen. Um, I had the carbonara version of the ramen packs. So good. I really like that one. And I feel so much better. Like, all day I've been lethargic and tired and grumpy because I didn't sleep last night and just anxious and it's not been a great day. As soon as I had that ramen, I just feel so much better after I ate it. Full, like, ate half of it, so it was just enough. Perfect. So I will check back in later on when I do some work. Okay, so it is 8.30 now. I'm in my office. I got my desk cleaned up a little bit. It's still a mess. You guys have stuff, like, back here still. Um, I... I'm gonna try to figure out what I'm gonna write tonight. I made myself a little cup of hot chocolate in this little red cup that I got from Starbucks. Um, I'm trying to figure out what exactly I'm gonna write tonight. Um, I'm basically done with chapter or act one of my book, which is great. But going into act two, as I'm looking at my scene cards, I'm realizing I talked about this a little bit before in a previous vlog vlog i wrote these scene cards with just kind of like high level like overview like bird's eye view of what would be happening in these scenes and like kind of what the direction of scene of act two was going to be but i didn't like go into specifics i also didn't really think through so part of the book is that these the two mcs are traveling like the world together and i wrote kind of a brief like description of the things they would be doing in each city and kind of like the order of places that they would be going but I didn't go into detail and I'm listening that I need more detail than that otherwise I'm gonna get through a year of them traveling the world in like a chapter and that's obviously not gonna work 
um because this is like that part that year that they're traveling together is like the whole of act two so i obviously need to spread that out and um add more detail add more plot into those parts of the book um but i hadn't really thought of that i didn't really think those parts through so that's something that i need to do before i can really start like drafting um at least or at least when I, maybe not go into like full detail but i want to at least have like more of an idea now than i do now basically so i need to figure that out um i checked out a couple of books i've never read a book where the two mcs like travel the world together in that way so um i reached out to some people to see if anybody had any examples and they gave me a couple of examples so i think i'm gonna read those and just kind of see like the pacing and like how quickly did they move from place to place and um just like how to spread something like that out between the whole like a whole second act like that's like the meat and potatoes of the book so how do i spread that out how do i pace that out what should happen like i said how quickly should they move from place to place things like that so those are the things i'm trying to figure out because of that i don't know how much writing i'll do tonight um i'll try to figure it out or see if maybe there's a way for me to track the scene cards maybe or something um i need to figure that out so yeah that's what i'm gonna do tonight i read more of dark right or dark air i am like 40 pages in? I read more than that actually. Yeah, 40 pages exactly. In so far, it's really good. I'm excited to see where it's gonna go. I took some notes on my phone because Dark, when I read Dark Rise last year, I tabbed it or I annotated it and I wanna do that again with Dark Air and I hadn't started doing that when I started reading it. So I took some notes down. I also wanna go in and add those tabs into the book as well. And I got well, yesterday's video edited and uploaded, so that's done. Um, so yeah, it's been a productive day, even though it started off pretty crappy. Hoping I'll get a better, um, sleep tonight. That's another reason why I'm not sure how much I'm going to write. Because I might just try to go to bed early tonight. So, let me see what I do, and then I will check back in with you guys in the morning and let you know how far I ended up getting. it is tuesday now it's about 11 a.m let's just ignore the way i look right now um i am working um i'm taking a quick break if you hear dobby barking it's because there's a guy downstairs nick is getting fitted for a like custom like leg knee leg brace uh because he has a, a torn like torn cartilage in his knee and because of his kidney transplant he can't um have like a knee replacement surgery so he has to do whatever he can to get like to take care of it outside of having surgery so he's getting fitted for this knee brace or they already made the knee brace and now they're like making sure it fits and all that stuff um so dobby's having a fit barking um i have sarah cannon on i'm catching up on her nano vlogs um and working um i'm trying to do more like pomodoro style like sprints today like working sprints today I'm doing some work for my 9 to 5 because I do need to get ahead. And then during my breaks, updating vlogs, reading, working on writing. So I did, I didn't do any writing last night, but I did go through all of my scene cards. And I realized that I, I'm like 99.9% sure that I have finished Act 1. I ended Act 1 with about 18,000 words, um, about 14 different scenes. And I'm not sure how many chapters because I kind of want to, I'm not sure about chapter structure yet. That's something I need to like read more up on and figure out exactly how that works and exactly where I should end these chapters. Um, but I ended up with 18,000 words. And I ended up taking about four or five scenes that I thought were going to be at the end of Act 1. And I think I'm going to shift them to Act 2, Part 1. Um, and I think I have more of a clear vision of what the first part of Act 2 is going to be and what the second part of Act 2 is going to be. Um, 
I asked for some recommendations in a Facebook group I'm in um, for book recommendations that are similar to mine in that like the main characters travel together and travel around the world and one girl gave me or one woman gave me a suggestion that has been super helpful um it's called playboy pilot it's a kindle unlimited romance um but it's actually really good um it does have smut it is like insta love but there's a lot of like layers to it and there is like a good like subplot um both of the characters have a lot like their own backstories and a lot of baggage and like trauma and um there's a lot of like growth happening and development and like character arcs happening and i love that um i love when a book is like smutty and fun and i don't some insta love i'm okay with but when it also has like an extra layer of like like I said, like baggage and like the characters have more to them. Um, I love that. So it's actually, I'm actually really liking the book, but it's actually giving me a really good like example of how this kind of book should be structured and like pacing. So I'm really um, happy about that. So I've actually had people give me a ton of recommendations. So I may keep reading those after Nano um, as I go into, as I keep writing and eventually go into edits and stuff. Um, but yeah, so I'm, like I said, 99% sure that I have finished Act 1. I have shifted about five or six scenes to act two, part one. So I want to keep going through that, looking at my scene cards today. The videos that Sarah did was a GIST day, which is a, uh, it's an acronym, I think is the right word, for get your shit together uh, day. And so it's basically where you like make a to-do list and you get as much done on that to-do list as you can. And you do whatever you need to do to get your shit together, to get your life together. And I really want to have one of those days. I've done it before and it was it's always worked really well for me so i would like to do a new one coming or another one coming up soon but um i need to figure out exactly what's gonna go on that list and how i'm gonna do it when i'm gonna do it i might start putting the list together supposedly we're supposed to be going to changing our shifts to four tens so if that happens then i think i might start making whatever day i have off during the week we'll still keep saturday and sunday off and we'll have an extra day off during the week I don't really care what day it is during the week. I don't have to have like Monday or Friday. So whatever day that is, is going to be a day that Nick works. Um, because Nick work, does work Monday through Friday. So I think that extra day off, I'm going to turn into just days. And that'll be days where I clean and like really focus on my to-do list and getting stuff done. So I think if I start taking my way through that now and kind of getting that list together now, I'm hoping that we're going to be able to start that schedule in December. Um, and then I can like implement that and put that into place. So... I want to work on that too. Um, I want to get my planner put together because December starts at the end of next week. And I haven't been using my planner as much as I would like. I want to get some reading done in um, Dark Rise and some of the other books I'm reading. Also, um, we actually got a proof for overtime. So that's perfect for this time of year. I will take the overtime. Um, so I'm working two hours over today and two hours over tomorrow. Um, Nick's computer still dead, so he's not working. He is very lucky that his company is basically paying him to not work because his computer died. So he's off for the rest of the week. He has some doctor's appointments and stuff tomorrow. So I may try to actually that's what that might be what I do. I might might try to get as much work done today today as I can, so that tomorrow when Nick's out of the house, I can focus on writing. I think I'm gonna try to do that. Um. And then when I get off work tomorrow, I'm going to get my nails done and before Thanksgiving and all that stuff. And so I'll bring you guys along for that. Bring you along for shopping on Black Friday, uh, for Thanksgiving, obviously, and then whatever else we get up to this weekend. Um, so yeah, I will check back in later on today. Hey guys, so it's later on now. It is about 2.40. Um, I'm about... I'm working overtime today, so I technically still have three hours of work left but our systems are currently down so we are all just kind of hanging out waiting for them to come back up um they told us to like take a break go get some coffee stretch our legs and then they'll let us know when the system is back up so i've been watching sarah cannon's um nano vlogs all day basically um i have her, her i think this is the latest one that she put up either this morning or yesterday um and one of the videos she did was her, like, she does a monthly notebook challenge or planner. I think it's notebook challenge, what she calls it. Or notebook is it challenge? I don't remember. But she, about once a month, she posts videos about all the different planners and, like, notebooks she uses, journals, things like that, and what they're for. And that got me kind of inspired because I have a ton of 
um, like journals and notebooks and stuff just sitting around. Um, well, they just gave us the message that it should be back up now, so I'll have to check that real quick. Um, I have a ton of planners and notebooks and journals and stuff just sitting around my office. And so I decided while I have this downtime, why not go through them and figure out what I want to keep, what I can get rid of, what I can just put away because I have a lot of old like bullet journals from over the years that I would like to keep. I don't pull them out and look at them very often, but I would like to keep them. Um, so figure out which one of those, which ones of these are, are that, are old, like, bullet journals from the last couple of years that can be put away, and what I can maybe condense into something else, what I like, and what I want to bring into 2024, because that's something else she was talking about, is, like, rejuvenating her, like, systems, um, and processes for 2024, and so I started thinking about that, and so I have a huge, if you can see, just, like, pile of planners and journals and stuff, so I've been going through these trying to figure out, like, again, what I want to keep, what I can just toss if I don't need it anymore, what is, like, half-used and just, like, an amalgamation of things, what I can combine, all those things. Um, so I went through them already, and I put them kind of in piles. I wanted to make, like, notes on them so I don't remember what was what, but I didn't have any stickies. So I ran to my office, I grabbed some stickies, and I'm going to do that. Kind of flip through them each again and make, like, a little note to put on the front of what is in there, and then figure out what I'm going to do going from there, so... I'm going to check my computer, check my system, because it seems like it should be up now. And then keep doing that while I watch Sarah's last video. I haven't done any writing today, but I'm okay with that. Because I think right now I really need to figure out like the structure of the story. And kind of the way things are going to move forward before I can keep writing. So I'm going to try to focus on that. I'm going to try to do what I have been doing. And staying up later tonight to do some writing. Um... Although tomorrow I am starting work at 5 a.m. because we have over time. So we'll see. I'll figure it out. And then I will let you guys know what I end up doing. welcome back um i don't even know when the last time i updated was i didn't update yesterday uh thanksgiving so belated or happy belated thanksgiving i guess um we it wasn't really much of a thanksgiving for us we tried to go to one of the buffets at one of the casinos but the line was like four hours long so we ended up leaving and going to texas day brazil and honestly it wasn't very good um the meats were like either raw or burnt like there was like no in between they didn't have a ton of flavor they weren't coming around very often um the best part of the whole meal was like the size and the dessert basically um so it wasn't like a typical thanksgiving for us so i ended up not really filming um but today is black friday we are going uh it's about 8 30 now nick's in the shower i'm gonna hop in the shower after him and then we're gonna get dressed all that and then we're gonna head out to go do some shopping i think we're gonna Go to the mall. He wants to go to like Hollister and Bath and Body Works, and I want to go to like Old Navy, Kohl's maybe. Um, there's a few things we're looking for. I want to order a new set of like pots and pans off of Amazon that I found because we've had the same ones for like seven years or something, and they're super old. Um, and yeah, that's basically it for today. Just hanging out shopping. Maybe go to a movie. Um, I want to go see the new Napoleon movie with. Joaquin Phoenix is out this weekend, so I want to go see that. I don't know if we'll see it today or at some point over the weekend. Um, and then tomorrow we're just going to do our normal thing, church, dinner with my family, or with my parents, all that. And Sunday my parents and my siblings are going to have our Thanksgiving dinner um, because my mom worked yesterday, so we're going to do our thing on Sunday. So, yeah, that's basically it. I haven't written anything else, but I have been reading the Romancing the Beat. Um, so it's kind of like, it's kind of like Save the Cat, but for romance books. So I've been reading that and just kind of figuring out pacing and, like, how I'm going to move forward. And, like, what really should be in Act 1, Act 2, 
A, Act 2B, Act 3, how I'm going to move forward, um, basically. And, um, yeah, so that's basically it. Um, I did get, let me turn the camera around. On Friday, I ended up getting a new Keurig. I had an espresso, which is over here, which you guys have always seen in my videos. I was getting kind of tired of the espresso because there's not a lot of variety on the pods. I mean, there is, but they're pretty expensive. And I feel like I've run out of them pretty quick. Um, but as far as, like, you have to order from an espresso. Like, at the grocery store, which is obviously more convenient to get them, there's only the Starbucks brand. And there's only, like, two different... There's, like, two kinds of coffee and two kinds of espresso. Whereas Keurig has, like, hundreds of different variety. Um... And with Keurig, you can also do, like, hot chocolate, you can do chai, you can do tea, you can do all kinds of stuff. Um, and I've been also, obviously with Nespresso, you only have the, you know, like, pod portion. There's no way to make, like, bulk amount of coffee. And that was really bugging me because I used to have a Ninja, co Ninja coffee maker. And it had, it was like this where you could do one, or no, maybe that was just the craft, actually. I don't remember. But you could do the craft. And... That was so easy for, like, during the week when I wanted to just make myself, like, a big pot of coffee. And then I could have coffee kind of throughout the day, which I know isn't the best thing, but um, I really enjoyed that. And then for, like, Christmas and family events and stuff, it was easier to have a craft than having to do singular pods for people. And so I just decided, you know, I've been wanting Keurig for a while, and then I saw this one that does both. And so I knew I wanted it. And so we saw that it was on sale on Friday at Kohl's, and so I told Nick about it. And he took me right there and we bought it. So, so far I'm really liking it. I went and got, I have a couple of bags of, and that's another thing I like is you can do like ground coffee in here or you can do the pods. So like, for example, Joffrey's Coffee, which is a Disney coffee, they only make ground coffee. I don't think they have pods. I'm going to look into it, but I don't think they have pods. So I can still get that and use it if I want to. Like Disney coffee, if I want to get Disney coffee, they have only ground. So I kind of get the best of both worlds. So for now, I grabbed some some Dunkin' coffee. I'll probably end up getting some Folgers and stuff. But yeah, so I made my coffee. I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna keep reading Romance in the Book or Romance in the Beat while Dobby eats his breakfast. And then I will check back in. I'll do some B roll later of when we go Black Friday shopping. Because they didn't, they like went to commercial before, so I was thinking, oh, maybe he's just like tired. Where's Killian? You know, when they, Where's Killian? I thought he was taking like a. <laughs>
Hey guys, it is Sunday night now. It's, I think, about 7. Uh, as you saw a couple clips of, we put our um, Christmas decorations up tonight. And now we're just hanging out watching the Santa Claus. And I'm going to get this vlog edited. I did not get as much writing done this week as I wanted. I think I got about 3,000 words. Um, I know that I'm not going to win NaNo at this point. But I have written probably close to 30,000 words at this point. So if we still win, there's 30,000 more words than I had when NaNo started. So I will take that. Um, I do still have like three or four days. So I'm going to get in as many words as I can over the next few days. And I'll show you guys that in next week's vlog starting tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and end this one here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.